Here with uh, Jason Quigley, top uh, Golden Boy prospect, uh, coming out of Ireland. Uh, what's going on, brother? When can your fans expect to see you again? Um, looking forward now to getting back out in maybe four or five weeks' time. Uh, there's a date now for the middle end of November. Nothing confirmed yet, but it's uh, nearly a done deal. So Excellent. I'm in shape, I'm working hard, and uh, I'm ready for the end of November. Definitely. Well, um, you're one of the top prospects uh, coming out of Ireland right now. Um, Tell me some of your, uh, maybe your favorite uh, Irish fighter or fighter uh, from Irish descent. Who would you say your favorite uh, Irish fighter is? Um, probably, probably have to be Steve Collins. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, I think it was his determination, his heart. Yeah. You know, the, as I used to say, the balls he showed. <laughs> of course. Um, you know, it's definitely, uh, it definitely, there's something proud about that, you know what I mean? And like, don't, no disrespect to all the other Irish fighters, they all have plenty of heart and determination, that's what us Irish are known for. You know, but I think Steve Collins kind of stands out for me the most. And Plus, I remember my father and everything, my father and my uncles traveled down to Cork on the bus one day wow. to, yeah. to watch Steve versus uh, Chris Eubanks and everything down in Cork. So that's another memory that I have yeah. in my head that makes him stand out and everything as well. But no, he was a, he was a hard... He was a hard, hard man in the ring and uh, very, uh, very proud to be an Irish man. Um, you're 8-0 uh, with eight knockouts, uh, fighting at middleweight. Do you see yourself staying there for long? Do you plan to maybe go for your first championship there? Or what, how do you think that's going to go? Definitely, you know, like right now, I know I have a fair idea of what uh, when I'm fighting again, but right now I sit at 168, 169. And I haven't checked my weight in about two months. And I'm still <laughs> about 169. You know, so I make the weight very easy. Um, and it's just, I'm lucky because no matter what I eat or what I do, I just stay in the one way. But, but I always keep in shape, you know, even when I go back home back. Like I'm not in the gym or out running, I'm playing soccer or doing something with my friends and chilling out and everything, you know, I'm always getting back to I like to try all different sports and, uh, you know, try my hand at everything. What, uh, what would you say your second favorite sport is besides boxing? Uh, my second favorite to play would probably be... Um, would probably be soccer. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I like soccer. And uh, What's your team? Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've had a shy to say that to them because they're not doing great right now. But now I'm a Liverpool fan. You know, but since I started boxing, I haven't really had the time to actually follow much soccer and everything like that. But when I came here, I'm a Liverpool fan. Steven Gerrard has started to play for the LA Galaxy. Oh. So that's massive for me. Good, yeah. good fit. Yeah, yeah. So I went to the debut game and everything like that, and it was amazing. You know, so I'm trying to get into following the LA Galaxy and everything now, along with the Dodgers, the Lakers. Hey, man, you're, you're you know. creating a good big fan yeah, base yeah. right here. <laughs> um, uh, middleweight, obviously, a lot's going on right now in middleweight. Um, Triple G versus the Mew last weekend, Kota Canelo coming up. Uh, did you see the Triple G fight? What did you think about that? Yeah, um, I was in camp with Manu for that fight, helping him get prepared for the Triple G fight. And uh, I had to fly out to the fight, so I was out there, I was ringside with Oscar and Bernard at the fights. And, uh, you know, I was there to enjoy the fights, to enjoy everything I got, to enjoy the atmosphere, the experience. But it was... Uh, when I came down to it, it was, I was there on business. I was there to do my homework. <coughs> I was there to see the guys that have what I want. You know, these are the guys, these guys are where I want to get to. These guys, I turned professional and they have what I turned professional for. It was WBC, WBO, IBF, all that. That's what, I, that's what I became a boxer for, is to get them straps around my waist. You know, and uh, I have to study these guys, I have to look at these guys, not only in the ring, but just look at the press conferences, the weigh-ins, everything like that. You know, I'm keeping an eye on these guys, and uh, because that's where I want to get to, and these are the guys that I have to be looking at, these are the guys that I have to be doing my homework on, you know. But at the end of the day, it comes down to me, my next fight, November. That's what it's all about. If I don't get past that hurdle, I'll never see these guys, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's all about taking it one step at a time, but the end goal is to get into the, in the ring, what the likes of the What do you think, you said you were in camp with uh, Lemieux, you know, he couldn't really do much against Golovkin, do you think that was more on Lemieux, more on Golovkin, Had, why do you think that that was? You know, um, to be honest, I thought Lemieux was gonna push the fight a little bit more. I thought he was gonna, you know, Put a lot more pressure on Golovkin. I've never been in the ring with Golovkin. I can't see good enough. I don't know what I mean. 
the guy obviously must have heard. Do you know what I mean? He was very hesitant on stepping in, and you know he was very hesitant on uh, getting inside and working. And when he did actually get inside, he landed a few shots, but got out of there right away. And that's where Golovkin, Golovkin really liked to keep the feet at his pace. You know, he likes to keep things nice and slow, wait for you to make the opportunity, and then punish you for it. And that's exactly what he did. But then, you know, he kept it at his pace. Kept the distance right all the way through the fight, and when the opportunity came, just boom, cracked him and hurt him, put him down with a body shot, got back up, you know, and was constantly hurting him after that, you know. So Triple G fought a very smart fight. For me, to be honest, it didn't look like he got out of second or third gear, you know, because of the pace that he was taking it at. And uh, but I think you know Golovkin needs somebody that's going to push him back, that's going to rock him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going yeah, to make him sure. think. But then again, you know, if he has this solid chin that everybody that, he, that he's proven, you know what I mean? Anybody that hits him isn't really facing him. You know, it's hard to rock a guy with a solid chin. Yeah. But you know, uh, I definitely think that um, you know whoever fights him next or anything, I should definitely put a lot more pressure on him. You know, take him out of his comfort zone, take him out of that distance, and letting him pop a jab. You know, push him back, make him make him think that he's never thought before. You know, and uh, you know, I think it'll be a, a lot more interesting fight if you ever decide to do that. Uh, what do you think about the other big uh, middleweight fight coming up, uh, Cotto versus Canelo? Yeah, it's going to be a massive fight. You know, Cotto growing up has been one of my idols. You know, he's such a determined, you know, warrior inside the ring. Um, gives it absolutely everything. He loses his heart in the ring. You know, such a champion, such a warrior. You know, but I think. Canelo's the fresh man, you know, the new kid on the block kind of thing, and uh, he's going to be too fresh, too sharp for Can Cotto, or yeah, for Canelo, he's going to be too sharp for Cotto, I think. And uh, you know, I think, I think Canelo's going to take him out maybe near the later end of the fight, but Cotto has all that experience, you know, he can bang with that left hook, you know, so it's going to be a very interesting fight. But in my honest opinion, I think Canelo's going to be too young, too fresh. And uh, he'll take him on the end of the fight. Well, yeah, thanks a lot for the time, man. Best of luck. Uh, everybody tune in sometime towards the end of November. That's it. Thanks a lot, Thank Jason. Thank you very much. Yeah, one, two, 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 one, two